Good morning, Knights. It's Mr. Fajardo showing you how to navigate and how you're going to walk into a classroom uh, once your first day here is back with us if you are registered in a hybrid learning situation. So as you make your way into the classroom, you can see that the classroom has been set up uh, with desks. Obviously, the desks have been grouped for side-by-side -side grouping, but this does not mean that there will be somebody sitting right next to you. Basically, what we've done is we've marked where cohort A students will be sitting in some desk areas and where cohort B students will be sitting in some other areas. You can see that we've spaced out all the desks in every classroom, six feet apart from one another. This is important due to some of the social distancing guidelines. You can see the teacher area here will be off limits. It's separated by a sneeze guard. They have their LFD screen right inside here as well. So essentially, once you'll come into class, students, you'll take a seat. There will be a seating chart for your teachers that we'll have for you. For those of you, once again, registered in hybrid learning. So I just wanted to take the time to provide you with some information as how to go about navigating the classroom. We have yet to install the sneeze guards for each individual desk. There will be a sneeze guard set up here. So essentially, you'll be sitting down here on your desk, right? Nobody will be sitting next to you. You'll be facing forward with your mask on at all times. The teacher will remain at the front of the room with instruction. Those of you that are going to be coming in with your Chromebooks, once again, make sure you do bring your Chromebooks that are fully charged. And we are encouraging you to also bring a pair of earbuds that you can plug in. So this way you can have some privacy and minimize some of the echoing that may occur while you're in class. Once again, this is Mr. Fajardo coming to you live from Shadow Hills High School with some information in reference to how you're going to navigate inside the classroom during hybrid learning. Thanks, everyone.